We're embarked upon a course of almost unbelievable stupidity. The historic error made by Chancellor Merkel last year by saying all can come has led directly to this mess. And now we're being blackmailed by Turkey. First they came for three billion in a promise to reduce the numbers coming in to Greece and the rest of Europe. And of course, when the numbers increased many fold, they came back for another three billion. And they will keep on coming back for more and more and more. As the British poet Rudyard Kipling observed of the Danish incursions into England. And that is called paying the Danegeld. But we proved it again and again that if once you have paid him the Danegeld, you'll never get rid of a Dane. And now they've got us over a barrel. This new deal, where for every one illegal migrant we send back, if our human rights laws allow it, they'll send us another one back from Syria. So the argument is, we've paid them a fortune not to reduce numbers, and yet we've given in and we've said visa-free access for 75 million Turks from June of this year. In theory, they can stay for 90 days. In practice, many will disappear or, of course, claim family reunion. The numbers will go sharply, sharply up. Uh, and in return for all of this, we're now going to fast-track Turkey as a full member of the European Union. My goodness me, I wish that David Cameron was as good at negotiations as the Turks are. <laughs> so we're going to go into a political union with a country that's got borders with Iraq, Iran and Syria. We're going to go into political union with, with, with a country that is poorer than anybody else in the European Union and give free movement for 75 people and join up with a government that is increasingly Islamist and authoritarian. The Turkish Prime Minister said this week, Turkish membership will be a turning point to right the British Prime Minister has long supported Turkey being a member of this union. In fact, he's fought hard over 10 years for them to join. He doesn't bat an eyelid at the extra £500 million we will stump up to help fund this crisis. Well, this referendum in Britain is all about what is the safest option. And given that the boss of Europol says already there are three to 5,000 Islamist terrorists that have come into Europe using the migrant routes. It's pretty clear to me that a vote to remain is a vote for Turkey. A vote to remain is a vote for massively increased immigration into Britain. And a vote to remain is a vote that makes Britain more vulnerable to terrorism. Safer to vote to leave and take back control of our borders.